Good morning, everyone. Um, uh, I'm assistant professor at School of Arts and Humanities in the University of Lisbon, uh, Portugal, and I'm going uh, to do this presentation about the uh, photographic archive of the uh, Museu Nacional de Arte Antiga uh, in uh, Portugal. Uh, the period under analysis is this uh, study in this study uh, concerns the directions of the art critic José de Figueiredo uh, and uh, uh, the museologist João Couto, who can be seen in these uh, uh, images. José de Figueiredo um, was the first director of the museum. Uh, his knowledge uh, of the international reality, particularly of a, a French one, makes him wish to Portugal a museum with an international profile based on the principles of modern museology. The museum as a laboratory or um, of knowledge with art and science in dialogue was uh, uh, his main uh, desire. In this context, uh, he was responsible for the formation of the photograph, uh, photographic archive of the Museum of Lisbon recognizing the importance that photography held in museum management and in the advances uh, in art history. The museologist uh, João Couto uh, succeeded uh, José de Figueiredo as the director of the uh, Museum of Lisbon after his death in 1937. Figueiredo spent uh, uh, 26 years in the command of the museum and uh, João Couto, 20, uh, 24 years. During the period of João Couto's uh, direction, the photographic archive of the museum underwent great uh, uh, growth uh, and wide dissemination. João Carlos Coutinho uh, was uh, Figueiredo's favorite photographer. Uh, he had spe uh, specialized in the photography of uh, works of art, uh, and particularly uh, of paintings, a task that uh, only uh, a few photographers could achieve with, uh, with the quality. Curiously, uh, very little is known about uh, the biography of this uh, uh, photographer. Um, we have been uh, investigating uh, this one for uh, the last uh, uh, four years. The Museum of Lisbon uh, did not have a photographer uh, of its own, uh, not even Coutinho, uh, João Carlos Coutinho was. Despite this, several uh, distinguished uh, photographers uh, worked, of, worked for the museum during uh, Coutinho's time and after his death in 1939. Joshua Benoliel, Otávio Bobon, Mario Novaes, Alberto Abreu Nunes are the, the main ones. José de Figueiredo's uh, muse uh, museological project was uh, ambitious. Uh, he intended to transform the former 19th century museum into uh, a true research and knowledge building center of national and uh, international reference that included photography laboratory, restoration workshops, uh, specialized art library, photographic archive, and conference room. José de Figueiredo uh, was in line with the, with the modern museography displayed by the International Museum Office, in particular uh, with the issues discussed in Madrid in 1934, at a time when uh, uh, Figueiredo was committed uh, to developing uh, a project to expand and improve the Museum of, uh, uh, of Lisbon. José de Figueiredo participated in the Madrid uh, conference uh, together with the architect who signed the museum's uh, refurbishment project. Um, and in the proceedings of the, uh, the conference published in 1935, there are uh, these uh, uh, three images uh, of rooms of the uh, uh, Museum of Lisbon that had already been uh, refurbished. Uh, they appear uh, uh, in these uh, proceedings uh, uh, as good museographic examples. 
The fundamental uh, principles adopted in the museum's uh, expansion and modernization project uh, included uh, the, the existence of scientific laboratories and a photographic archive. The laboratory for the examining uh, uh, works of art following the example of the Louvre uh, Museum was only completed in 1940 after the death of uh, José de Figueiredo. So uh, uh, João Couto will greatly encourage uh, uh, these scientific uh, studies uh, during uh, his direction, making the Portuguese laboratory uh, a research center of national and uh, international reference uh, as well. About the uh, museum's uh, collection of photographs. In this image, you can see the old cabinets uh, where the uh, photographs were, were kept. Uh, we can also uh, follow a testimony of, um, uh, by José de Figueiredo about the importance uh, of having a photograph, uh, photographic archive in an art museum. The renowned uh, painter-restorer uh, Lucien Freire, uh, a, sp a specialist in the restoration of old paintings, also recognized the fundamental importance of photography in the context of restoration work. As he says, the photographs taken say more than anything that has been written about it. In these cases, uh, photography plays an important role uh, in recording uh, the, the state of conservation in which the, the works were found, as can be seen, can be seen in this uh, uh, work, uh, The Virgin, Child and Angels with the Christie's blessing in the reverse. Yeah. It is important as well uh, to document the results of treatments or uh, confrontations between the initial and post intervention interventions uh, state, as can be seen in this uh, uh, example from the, the work uh, uh, apparition of uh, the angel to Santa Clara, Santa Inês, and Santa Coleta. Or uh, to document the treatments during their uh, execution as seen in this uh, main portrait by uh, Andrea del Sarto. Within the uh, activities of a museum, photography plays a fundamental role uh, in this uh, in study, appreciation, and dissemination of the collections that the museum has. Once again, uh, José, de Fig uh, José de Figueiredo's testimony is quite uh, assertive uh, in this regard. Photographic archives must uh, include images uh, uh, that may be of interest to the museum uh, from works of art that uh, don't belong to, to its collection. Searching uh, old photographs uh, can be uh, an interest, uh, interesting way to study works of art, allowing us to, to follow uh, uh, their changes, the changes of the, the paintings, over over the time. The use of photographs uh, for distance uh, research was a practice uh, in José de Figueiredo's work. This uh, uh, happened uh, in particular during these uh, long stays in, uh, uh, in Paris. Uh, this uh, Pentecostes uh, was an example of uh, remote research Carried out, uh, carried out by uh, uh, José de Figueiredo. In this uh, slide, you can see the multiple uses of photographs uh, in museum management services, namely uh, in the uh, inventory and cataloging, publications, tourism services, and uh, different uh, uh, types of studies. Although José de Figueiredo also recognizes uh, that uh, even a good photograph is an imperfect element of appreciation for a painting. Uh, the photographs uh, were, all, uh, were sometimes used to um, obtain opinions on the quality, uh, pecuniary value, and the authorship of uh, uh, certain uh, works. Photography uh, can also uh, be used to support uh, uh, 
expert studies, as was the case with the, this St. Peter of uh, Zurbaran, requested by the Spanish uh, professor Francisco Sanchez uh, Canton. And uh, the photographers uh, in the archive uh, can be used to promote the museum's work, uh, work uh, the museum's work of art. In 1913, um, the Museum of Lisbon edited a collection of uh, 12 postcards with some of his masterpieces uh, uh, with the support of the museum's friends group. In 1938, the museum's uh, first catalog was published in uh, two volumes, uh, according to the guidelines of the International Museum Office. Uh, it should be easy to read, uh, present uh, uh, essential information about the exhibited works, uh, be profusely uh, illustrated with uh, good uh, images and uh, uh, affordable. The images uh, are focused uh, on the second volume uh, entitled Some Works of Art from the National Museum of Ancient Art. The volume consists uh, uh, of uh, uh, 120 allegraphic images in full page. From 1939 onwards, uh, the museum would publish the, uh, a bulletin with several uh, issues published uh, each year. Uh, this was an initiative under the direction of uh, uh, João Couto, as can be seen in the image. Uh, the bulletins were, uh, were professionally uh, illustrated with photographers uh, uh, from the museum's uh, photographic uh, uh, archive. The bulletins con constituted a fundamental vehicle uh, for the dissemination of the Lisbon Museum's activities, where the images acquire uh, more uh, and more prominence. To conclude, uh, it's uh, important to emphasize that the Museum of Lisbon reached uh, in Portugal a pioneering, a pioneering place in the formation of a photographic archive of art. Uh, the archive uh, has several thousand photographers. Uh, most of them don't exist in any other archive. So uh, um, it is essential that this uh, photographic archive can be uh, well preserved, but uh, uh, it is also uh, uh, urgent that it could be properly uh, catalogued so that uh, uh, all its potential can be uh, really used uh, in the presentations already uh, held on the photographic collections of the uh, different museums. This uh, usefulness and potential was very clear. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>